Um, I'm Olivia Harrison. Uh, we just won a Grammy for the best uh, limited edition package 50 years after this album was made um, and 58 years since George got his first Grammy when at the seventh annual Grammys, the Beatles won best new artist. Isn't that amazing? You know, 44 years ago, All Things Must Pass was inducted into the, Rock and, uh, the Grammy Hall of Fame. And here it is, 50 years, 50th anniversary. And um, really, Danny and, and I and, and our team, Paul Hicks, Grammy-winning engineer, uh, remixed it. Not an easy thing to do because Phil Spector produced it. There were a gazillion tracks on it. Uh, great musicians. And I think the music is full of hope and compassion and, and uh, curiosity and rock and roll and great musicians. And uh, 50 years, here we are. I think the music is here to stay, you know, from wherever you need it. You know, it's, um, it's really something for it to be here. And during lockdown, we put it together in our little cottage industry at home. Uh, we, did a, we did a book that, <laughs> that even contained a 150-year-old oak tree that we cut bits of wood out to use in the cover of it. Uh, you know, so we, we paid attention to every detail. Just love, really, love. Love and respect. How do you think, George, looking down, George all around here, would feel about the fact that his legacy just keeps going on and on and really kind of transcending time and generations? You know, I think... Music is all out there in the great Akasha. We can, you know, we can tap into it. And I think his is enduring. Uh, and I, you know, he liked, he liked the album. You know, he, he, he never talked about his music too much, but he once in a while would say, I like that song, or I think this was a good album. And uh, I think he'd be really chuckling that this is happening. For us, really. It's for us because it's an expression of our love and our respect and what we think about his legacy and his music. Um, really, that's what we poured into it. Now, as his wife and partner and, you know, so many aspects of his, his life, and you're really kind of with Danny keeping the flame of the legacy going. So every time you get something like this, how does that make you feel personally? It's always bittersweet when we, uh, when George is recognized, but it's all it's it's wonderful and it's um, you know it's always emotional. Um, but really, this last this last project, uh, because it was locked down and we were at home, and we had our bubble, that we put it together, really at home, and so every you know we had time. Every little detail, all the textures. Danny, Danny really drove the project. Uh, it was his idea. You know, I thought it was um, ambitious, and uh, so you know, I had a role and I curated the book. Danny was really supervising all the elements. We had a great art director, and you know, it was recognized, and that's that's really nice. Nice to be recognized. Oh well, congratulations. Thank what are you, you doing to celebrate? Um, so right here, <laughs> celebrating <laughs> something. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thanks.